Hello guys, welcome to Who's On My Show. This is your host, Bill. Uh, on this show, the whole point is to get to know my audience. Um, I'm told by the producers that my audience is more entrepreneurial in spirit, which is great because I know nothing about being an entrepreneur. The whole premise of the show is just to ask a couple questions, get to know you guys a little bit better, and uh, teach me something. That's the whole point of Who's On My Show. I would like to ask now for three volunteers. Who wants to be on my show? Just a big bit of background information about who's on my show. I've won four Grammys, don't worry about it. <laughs> welcome, welcome everybody. My name is Bill, and uh, let me get to know you guys a little bit better. What's your name? My name is Christine Bowen. Christine Bowen, who, excellent. And your name? I'm Bonnie LeBaron. Bonnie LeBaron, who, excellent. And her? I'm Nick D'Alessandro. Nick <laughs> something, Sandro. <Yeah>. Who, <laughs> <laughs> well, welcome to the show, guys. So I am told by the producers that you guys are something of Entrepreneur. I don't speak French, so <coughs> I'm not quite sure what entrepreneur means. However, I do have questions about it. So, Christine, tell me to you, what is an entrepreneur? I do not have a job. That's an entrepreneur right there, folks. <laughs> <laughs> That's an entrepreneur right there. Well, tell me a little bit about what you do, Christine. Who? Well, we do roofing, siding, and gutters. We are out here making sure that we make a living and giving back to the community in true Austin style. By putting a roof over their heads, literally, who? And by donating 1% of total job costs to the local charity of their choice. Oh, wow, okay, what charity? Any charity they choose. Okay, well excellent, so she doesn't have a job. Uh, Bonnie, what is it you do, my love? Who? <laughs> I facilitate a practice called Authentic Connection Games. Okay, uh, I have zero notes about that, so what is it? <laughs> so we work with different organizations, startups, businesses to help create workplace culture. Okay, Strong I understood none of that. Culture. <laughs> okay. So help me, help me, you, uh, you're playing games, is that, is that true? Who? Yes, but they're interactive games designed to allow people to relate authentically. So in a way that feels good for them, but also feels good for the people that they're working with. Yeah, I feel better alone. <laughs> All right, so, <laughs> Nick, tell me a little bit about what you do. So I help people uh, reach retirement, live in retirement stress-free. Um, everyone loves to come talk to me about that. Not really, but uh, someone's got to do it. Work with uh, business owners, tax advantage planning, um, things just all along those lines, educational planning, retirement planning. Who? Well, here's the, here's the deal, Nick. I'm, I'm quite young. Obviously, uh, why do I why do I should why should I care about retirement or finance planning or anything? Well, you heard of compound interest. Uh, no, is that some Einsteinian kind of thing? <laughs> Basically, you know, if you could put something fifty dollars away, hundred dollars away at age twenty-five versus starting at thirty-five, that ten years can, you know, it can it can make a half million dollar difference in the long run, and people just don't realize that. Poop. Poop. You know what I do with half a million dollars? Poop. Nothing. I would do nothing with a half a million dollars. I'll just sit around and watch reality show Austin. All right, so Christine, who, uh, what are your plans for the next, let's say, five years in the roofing business? Who? Austin Roofing Construction will be the largest residential roofing company in the Austin area in the next four years. Okay, sound pretty confident about that, who? I am. Excellent. Well, all right, Bonnie, so Pass. what about you? <laughs> this, this is not a multiple choice. Oh, I don't get it. You have to answer here. Okay, what's the question? This is my show. <laughs> my show. Okay, got it. Who? Who? All right, so Bonnie, um, give me an example of a, a game you play. It sounds silly to me. Who? Okay. Well, uh, one of my favorite games right now is called the Google game. Um, you are our keyword search, uh, EP2000. So I'm going to... You're not ready for the results. <laughs> uh, you know what, I'll just pass on this game for now. Okay, so the Google game. Sounds sketchy. And <laughs> Nick, now you're all about planning for the future. What's next for you? Um, just getting a, getting a stable income coming in to where I can you know, support myself. I think that's any entrepreneur's dream. Living, living that lifestyle of maybe one day working 25 hours a week and devoting the rest of the time to family and friends and doing what you love. 
I think that's why we're all entrepreneurs in the end. Who? Who? <laughs> Excellent. All right. Well, hey guys, I think we're out of time. We got advertisements to do. You know what about whatever? Uh, so, any last words from you guys? Who? 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 It's time to go, go, go. Get on the floor, floor, floor. This is the time, time, time to open the door, door, door. Say what you want, tell me that you want more. Don't hold back what you're looking back for. Too so late to hesitate, it's time to look forward. Give me your life, I bet you get yours. Let it flow, flow, flow. Cause I don't wanna be a student anymore I am jumping off the walls telling stories untold Go on and give me your life and I bet you get yours Come into my zone and I'm gonna show you how I flow Flow How you doing sir? I'm doing well What's your name? name? Blake Blake, what do they call you Blake? <laughs> moon layer Moon layer, okay Yeah What does that moon layer mean? It doesn't have a meaning, it's just more of a lifestyle, you know? A lifestyle? Yeah. Tell me more about this lifestyle. Well, basically, Moon Layer is going to become the male version of Kim Kardashian without the sex tape. So, I just got to keep marketing Moon Layer, and we're going to get famous eventually. And I'm not going to have any special, like, jobs or anything. Okay. Me. So we're all entrepreneurs, and this is an entrepreneur reality show. I would kind of have to say that's kind of being entrepreneurial, wouldn't you it think? It is, you know. What got you down the, to go this road? One day people started referring to me as Moonlayer because I, you know, dress different. Well, okay, it's my Snapchat name. So Scott, <laughs> our friend Scott was like, hey, I'm with Moonlayer. And then girls started calling him like, hey, who's Moonlayer? Can we come party with y'all? And that's where it started, basically. So, I mean, in any goal in entrepreneurship, there's a goal in to make money. Do you plan on ever trying to make money off this? Well, if the image gets big enough, people will pay for Moonlayer. Yeah. Okay. Eventually. Be a very profitable business. Very confident man mm -hmm. from a guy named Moonlayer. Moonlayer. But anyways, uh, what do you? What is your perception of uh, entrepreneurial? Being an entrepreneur, you think Austin's a good town for it? I think it's a great town. People are willing to help each other here. And it's a great place to grow. Open-minded people, so it's a great area to be. Great. Right. Start your own business. Any other thing you want to add? <laughs> you know. <laughs> The other day I was walking. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Hi, again, this is Eric with EP2000 with Reality hey, Show Austin. Doing? Hey guys. Uh, what's your name, buddy? It's Joel Evers. Joel Evers. Yes, Evers. Evers. Yes. Joel Evers. You're not from Austin. I am not. I'm from Chicago originally. Live in Dallas now. You understand that's not what, how we dress in Austin. We, like, we are normal people. We do dress. Um, on vacation, you want to be comfortable, free, and loose. And that's all three combined you did into that one. In one. That is amazing. Chuck Taylors, shorts, and a shirt. I can, button, but I won't. But did you break them? Did you rip them off in a fit of joy? I can. Want me to rip them off in a fit of joy? I, I don't know if this, this is a reality show Austin exclusive. We have somebody gonna rip his shirt off. <laughs> For the camera. Ah! Oh <laughs> there you have it, folks. Loving it. Great, awesome. beautiful shirt. Love you Destroyed guys. Now. Hey, enjoy your time, bro. Love hey. All right, AP, what's going down, bro? So we've got our producers challenge as we do usually every week, and during the live show, we actually have a little bit of a twist. Each cast member will have three, count them, three, trace, however you want to say it, three challenges that pertain to each one of their industries. The challenge being is not only do they have to create it, but they are going to have to impart it on another cast member and somebody from the audience. Who knows what's going to happen? It's going to be a heck of a lot of fun. Make sure you tune in. Make sure you're there. Reality Show Austin. Um, okay, this game is called Watermelon. Uh, this game works with our nonverbals. And we're, let's partner. Let's have a partner for this game. Would, would you mind being yeah. a partner? Okay. So, uh, well, hey, you guys. an <laughs> example here. Um, you're going to ask me questions. Get boy, I'm showing this. No, I'm, I'm doing Facebook and then trying to record. <laughs> You are, are you going. Are you taking pics on Facebook and posting them? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, how was your day today? Watermelon. <laughs> um, let's see. What's your favorite food? Watermelon. Why are you in Austin? Watermelon. 
Are you happy to be in Austin? Watermelon. <laughs> what What does your next five years look like? Watermelon. <laughs> How's your um, business going? Watermelon. How can they not play, dude? <laughs> Freaking <laughs> the watermelon bros. Yeah. Will you hold my? <laughs> <laughs> What'd you eat for eat today? Watermelon. What'd you eat last night? Water melon. <laughs> What'd you do in your meantime? Watermelon. Nice. So um, last night sounded like you had a good meal. Watermelon. Uh, so like I said, we're here backstage rehearsing a little bit. Uh, we've got Bonnie and Clyde, Dr. Rob, Money. Yeah. Man. Are you working out on the show, Money Nick? <laughs> Sometimes, What's going going on, bro? <laughs> Sometimes you gotta stretch it out. That's what we do backstage. You gotta keep it loose, keep it fresh. That's how we stay on top of our game. As an entrepreneur, you know what? You gotta stay nimble. You gotta be fresh. That's all he's doing right here. <laughs> Team stretches, anyone? Team stretches, anyone? <laughs> he's been busy. Sit and be fit, you know? Well, so, Money Nick's been busy, huh? That's, that's what you're looking at right here, backstage reality show Austin. We're preparing an amazing show for you guys. I'm excited. You guys excited? Absolutely. <laughs> Ready to rock and roll. We've got a lot of stuff coming on for you guys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bonnie and Clyde's excited. Can you tell them excited? <laughs> Bonnie, Nick's right. pit. Okay, Sue, so, so we're going to play a game now. I'm going to ask you some questions. The only response you get to use is watermelon. So that's your only answer to every question I'm going to ask you. Does that make sense? Yes. <laughs> and I invite, um, if anybody else has any awesome questions, um, feel free to throw them out too. So if anybody's, if anything's coming off in your head uh, question-wise, feel free to blurt it out or raise your hand and we'll get to you. So what is the most embarrassing moment of your life? <laughs> what was your favorite uh, day? If you can think of your favorite day in the world, what does that look like? Watermelon. <laughs> How is your romantic life right now? Watermelon. <laughs> <laughs> and what about your business life? Watermelon. And how do you feel about um, seedless watermelon? <laughs> uh, and how do you feel about cats? Watermelon. How about dogs? Watermelon. Anybody else have any questions for Sue? Watermelon. Yeah. <laughs> Watermelon. Sweet. Uh, how do you feel right now? Watermelon. <laughs> okay, so were we able to figure out what she was saying? Yeah. Even Watermelon. though the only answer, we only have one answer, right? Watermelon. But were we able to gather pretty much what she was saying just based on her nonverbals? Yeah. yeah. So the demonstration here is that our nonverbals are 90% of our communication. So if you're going into different businesses and different industries and um, talking, just remember that your nonverbals are saying more than your words are saying. So um, in Authentic Relating Games, we practice what, what is it like to match our nonverbals to what our words are saying and how can we do this effectively. As entrepreneurs, communication is a key factor. How we communicate our products, services, and brands, public image, and everything plays a huge role in the factor of our success. This challenge is called the UM game. You have to give us your 30 second introduction or just talk about your business for 30 seconds and you can't say UM. I'm gonna need somebody to time this, Dr. Rob. Just time and she can't say UM once, so she says it once. She's Nick. All right, 30 seconds to talk about your business. It could be either your elevator pitch about you or educational about your company without saying um. We have the time already? Um. All right, you guys, and go. I am Linda Becker, the body balancer. I am a licensed massage therapist doing therapeutic work. I specialize using cranial sacral, myofascial release, and various other gentle therapeutic techniques. I, I didn't say it. You <laughs> thought I was going to, but I didn't. I paused, which is the appropriate thing to do, while you rethink and gather together. Absolutely. 
Um, <coughs> Jackson. Jackson, how far? 29.75. Yep. Wow, you guys. Round of applause. Round of applause. Anybody? Somebody? All right. Come on up, sir. Seems like the same people keep volunteering, but that's all right. So, first of all, what's your industry again? Uh, electricity. Electricity. All right. And you were saying earlier that it's a multi-level. So right. this one's going to be pretty easy as far as coming up with three reasons why most people in that situation will not be successful. First reason, um, and then I'll let you counter after I say the reason. Um, all right. Jeez. I know. I hate the rules. I hate this show. Um, all right. So three reasons you will not. I'm going to say one of the reasons, and you can counter it right away, then we'll go to the reason two. First of all, it's a multi-level marketing company. Well, you know, we all do business one way or the other, and uh, we choose to do it through the multi-level because we believe that we can give more people an opportunity to earn an uh, income based on their efforts rather than somebody else's. All right. As far as um, multi-level marketing, most multi-level marketing companies are set up more to have the agents or independent um, people working for them to compete against each other compared to more work with each other. What can you say about that? I don't think that's true. I think that uh, you're competing with yourself all the time because if you're in business for yourself, uh, you're going to do more for yourself. And so the company is out there to support. And if you have a good company that's going to be supporting, you don't need to worry about that. It's all up on you. And if you spend more time on working on yourself, you'll be successful in whatever business you do. All right. I like that. I like that, guys. And then the last reason I can come up with why he would not succeed would probably, and just to let you know, you do have a safety. For some reason you can't come up with it, you could call up one of the entrepreneurs up from the show. The third reason being it takes too, too much time to develop your up or down line to where you won't make money on time. Well, in a traditional job, I worked 45 years and never made what I made in six months, so you tell me. There we go, you guys. <laughs> so, All right, so one of the biggest challenges or problems I see most entrepreneurs deal with is understanding how to pre-qualify um, a lead or pre-qualify their audience. So what we will do in this challenge is EP will have 30 seconds to rewrite his 30 second elevator pitch, but within his 30 second elevator pitch, he has to pre-qualify his target audience at least five times. You wanna hold the mic? Hold the mic, you got it. Yeah. Do you wanna time this? Dr. Rob, the Mafia Chiropractor, we have plenty of deals for you today. If you suffer from neck pain, if you suffer from back pain, if you suffer from kind of knee pain or foot pain, we got plenty of deals for you today. Come in today, Dr. Rob, come and see me. We got a good deal for you. You know why. So the other day, Johnny Two Tuts, he's throwing a body in the trunk. By doing that, he pulled his lower back in this area. I said, hey, that's not good. We're not gonna be able to do this for much longer if you keep doing stuff like that, eh? He said, yeah, what should we do? I looked in the phone book and I saw the doc mafia chiropractor. His name was Dr. Rob, huh? A very good guy. We keep everything on the DL. We deal only with specific people for specific reasons. We've been known in certain areas to have certain numbers on our head, if you know what I mean. So. If you guys need a mafia chiropractor, please check out a Dr. Rob, huh? Hey, and again, by the way, I only do cash payment here. No credit card, no check, no nothing. You got the greenback? You got the euro? That's the only way I'm gonna take cash. Mafia chiropractor, call Dr. Rob. We will see you soon. So the other day, me and Vinny were pulling a body out of a trunk and I pulled me back. I said, whoa, what am I going to do? I can't go to a regular doctor. Luckily, I know Dr. Rob. 
And he take only cash, which is good, because that's all I got. Brought him a briefcase of cash, he fixed my back. Now I can pull two body out of the trunk. Again, huh? Picking up, picking up bodies out of the trunk. Oh, eat the herd, sir. I, I told you last time, I told you last time, you pick, keep the body close to you. Don't have it out here, you hold it out here. Cause more pressure on that low back. You gotta keep it close. Well, that to explains you. a lot. I wish I would have known. Keep it close to your body here. Then the don't have the back pain. Come on now. Come on. Okay, let's do this. All right. I like the, the I like the mafia doctor, Doctor Rob. The main reason is he doesn't leave with a paper trail. No paper trail for the government to go find. No paper trail for my wife to go find. No paper trail for my girlfriend to go find. He doesn't need no paper trail. I don't like a paper trail. That's why I like a Doctor Rob. He doesn't leave a paper trail. Cash only. I like that type of personality. That's the type we run for the street. Don't forget Dr. Rob, 10% before the end of the week. Look at my reviews. Go to Mafia Chiropractor. I have 33 reviews. They're all good. They say one to two times you're good to go. Mafia Chiropractor. Oh, why you come to Mafia Chiropractor? You don't sleep with the fishes, you know? They're not gonna put on concrete, concrete shoes on you. Put you at the bottom of the ocean, you know? Come to me, big cash. Come to Mafia Chiropractor. Do you find yourself trying to have the best pickup line, but failing? Do you ever notice that girls run away from you more than stick around? Hey ladies! Ooh, wow. I might not be Dairy Queen, but I'll treat you right. Do you ever walk into a bar and just feel like a million bucks, but get no kind of action? Do you ever stumble over your words whenever you're talking to a woman and really just have no idea what to say? So, uh... Where you been all my life? Would you look at that? Do you have special needs? Because you should look special to me. Between one and America, how free are you tonight? Do you ever walk into a bar and think you're Rico Suave, but end up walking out like Pico Nave? If you find yourself suffering from any of these symptoms, you might be suffering from a condition known as no gameitis. Nine out of ten scientists believe it probably exists. This is Dr. Rob here, and I'm here to talk to you about no gameitis. Do you suffer from no gameitis? 80% of men, studies have shown, actually suffer from no gameitis. No gameitis, a symptom that about 80% of people, men, uh, suffer from. It's a serious, serious issue running wild as an epidemic in the United States of America. Again, tuck in your shirt into your short. Your shirt into your blue jeans. Getting a barbed wire tattoo, hanging outside of a, of a big truck, waving down girls. These are all different kinds that can suffer from no game item. Uh, this can lead to all sorts of things. Uh, never scoring. Let me finish up with a few more of the symptoms that actually uh, are, are very, very common. Do you live with your parents in your 30s? Do you still wear washboard jeans? We've gone through a great deal of trouble to actually solve this problem, which occurs in 80% of men. And now we have the solution. It's the game. It's the game solves all of your problems with one simple process. Simply pull out your phone, download the app called Instagame, and anything you put into it, it'll check how you look, what you say, how you say it. It'll translate it directly for you. Let's show you some examples. Awesome, I got my new Insta. Game. Insta app. It's the game app. This is fantastic. Finally, I can score. Hey, uh, wow, honey. I like the layers in your hair. Hey, how you doing? I saw you from across the room, and I find you very attractive. That's a nice shirt. You look really cute today. How you doing? My name's Santiago. Let's make this you and me happen. Oh, great, I just got my Instagram app. Hey, girl, your parents must be bakers because you got the hottest <clears throat> ones in town. Hey, beautiful. I think it's time for you and me to get to know each other. It's the game. It's the app that works. Simply three small payments of $89.96 and you get yourself a new you. You're going to be able to pick up women like never before. You're not going to stumble over your words. You're going to look these women right in the eye. You're going to get more numbers. You're going to get more dates. 
That's how it works. This is Buck Johnson here. I got Instagame. This app worked for me. I, have, I went from zero dates in seven months to 17 dates in three weeks. Instagame. Boom. Instagame has worked for me. I downloaded the app, and ever since I downloaded the app, I went from zero to hero in just about two weeks. And it only cost a couple payments of $89.96. I couldn't believe it. It was so cheap. If you buy now in the next 20 minutes, I'm going to toss an Insta Rhyme for free. This is a revolutionary app that actually takes your words and turns them into poetry. Insta Game. Get the app that works, and if it doesn't, you'll get at least half your money back. Are you all about that bass though? Not that bass though. <laughs> Not that bass though. <laughs> and we're gonna film it. I don't even know what that really means. Like, what I mean, I don't you're get what a, you're asking. I, you're a young woman. I figured you knew exactly what that means. <laughs> I mean, if you're asking a guy, that'd be like, are you all about? Sir, are you all about that bass? It's a whole different thing when you're asking a guy versus a girl. <laughs> I guess that makes sense. Well, hey, thank you so much for your time. It was awesome. Y'all <laughs> have a good rest of your night. Bye.